Imagine you have to do alignments again and again in Illustrator and you do not want to pull up that panel every time and click on the button. You want to work quicker than that. But these are buttons, not menus. So what can you do if you want a shortcut for that? Hello and welcome to the Vector Garden YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about recording some shortcuts. We want to record these alignments and we want to have a shortcut. In order to do that, we cannot go into edit keyboard shortcuts because when we go into the menu commands and when we go into other panel, then you see no alignment in there or miscellaneous also no alignment. So we cannot assign shortcuts to it. Also in object, it's just not there. The way out of this situation is of course actions. So let's go to window actions. And then what we can do, of course, first of all, set up a new set because you want to save your actions in order to not lose them whenever Illustrator destroys his own preferences. And you might want to share them. So, and that is only possible with sets and you can create them by creating a new set. Let's call this a line. And we will also do the same with Pathfinder, just like that. And then we can later on save that and then create a new action. And we do that align left, go to record, and then we can record. And when recording, it's always important to keep this open because you want to watch if it really gets recorded. And now what you can do is hit this button and you see it gets aligned. So we get horizontal alignment left. And then we can stop that because that's all we need. And in this, now we can double click this action. And in here, you can assign a function key and also use that with shift, for instance. And once you have set up that, then of course you can add that to your stream deck or whatever software or hardware you might use to further streamline that. Let's go to OK. The same goes for any other alignment options you might want to set up there. Let's do the next thing. We want to have pathfinders as well. So let's go to window pathfinder. And again, we're going to select them because this kind of selection will not be recorded. We need to have selections. And of course, when you want to use that later on, you will have selections and then just hit the key to do the operation. And again, we create a new action, call that unite, record it, hit unite. And again, it gets recorded and then we can also stop it. But also if you want to have a more complex operation, then you can add other pathfinders should you need that. Let's take a look at what is there because for pathfinders, there is something. So let's go to edit shortcuts again and go to the menu commands. And here we have repeat pathfinder. So there is a pathfinder shortcut in action. So it's command and four or control and four on windows, which repeats the last pathfinder you've used. Let's cancel that. Let's select these two, press that shortcut. And then you see it repeats that unite operation. So that is possible, but not the first pathfinder you want to use for that. You need this action. And again, we're going to double click that and set up the function key for that, whatever you want like that. When you're done with that, you can select the set and then save that like this, save it. Then you have an AIA file that you can exchange with people or just keep so that it doesn't get lost. If you like this video, please recommend this channel to your colleagues. Thank you very much for that.